Hey guys, what is happening? Just getting going here. Hopefully uh, you guys are having an awesome morning. These lives, uh, these lives have been pretty fun. Uh, just trying to figure, let's figure everything out. Um, so this is my, my second time doing it and, uh, I, I got it on a schedule now, so it's going to be every Tuesday, every Thursday, we're going to go live at 10 AM, uh, and just be talking about some really cool stuff. So, um, what I want to talk to you guys today about is how to overcome fear and dominate social media. So it's definitely something that is, uh, very present in the world that we live in. Um, social media is not going anywhere and, uh, there's just a lot of different platforms uh, that you can utilize to be able to reach your customers, especially if you're a business. Uh, it's, I mean, if you're, I just have a belief that if you're not on social media, you know, it's the same as not having a website for your business. It's just, it's one of those things that are uh, necessary. Um, and so we're going to talk about some of those things that I think uh, that you're going to find valuable and very beneficial for sure. So, um, so yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and get into this here. So the first thing I, that I want to talk to you about is the fear aspect, right? Um, there's there's a lot of people who who want to be on social media. They see the the power of being on there on different platforms, especially when you see uh, the connections that you can make in building your network. Uh, there's just incredible opportunities, but uh, a lot of people really consume versus create. And so to go from consuming to creating, there's that, that level of fear there, right. Of putting yourself out there, um, you know, creating videos, pictures, posts, letting your thoughts be out in the world. And it's, uh, it's one of those things that once, once you overcome it, then it really becomes, you know, where you're in a position where the world is your oyster and you can utilize those to grow your business and be in a position where you can create authority and become an expert. And that's how people will see you. And when you start doing that for your business, there's amazing things that really start to happen um, that will put you in situations that you wouldn't have had the opportunity to do otherwise. And so some of the comments that uh, people will make or some of the things that I've heard people talk about is that they're worried about, you know, what people are going to think they are, you know, that they, they're just not sure how people are going to perceive them. You know, they might say something bad about them in the comments, um, you know, and there's the, all of these stories that we create in our mind and that's what prevents us from putting ourselves out there. And, I just, I would encourage you to be very intentional about overcoming that. Um, and really it just comes down to taking massive action. And when you take massive action, you eliminate any sort of space for fear to creep in. And, you know, when you're so busy focused on, you know, what you're doing and serving and adding value, then you don't really have time to be fearful because you're moving so fast. You're taking action um, in a major, major way. And I think it's one of the key indicators to let you know that you're moving forward in the right direction. Um, and I think that, you know, the barriers that we have mentally for the fear that is created from not being on social media, you know, it's all valid, right? There's, I mean, we see all the time people that are, uh, you know, that are being, you know, bashed and, you know, kind of thrown under the bus on social media. And it just comes with the territory. Uh, but that's with anything in life, right? If you're doing something and everybody's on board and everybody's excited for you and you're getting positive feedback and everybody loves you, um, I, to be honest with you, you're probably not doing much. Uh, and, and I'm not talking about your, your inner circle, right? You know, your friends and family, those people are going to be supportive for you for sure. Um, but you're not going to make everybody happy, right? If you wanted to make everybody happy, then, you know, have an ice cream truck. But if you want to be in business and you want to move forward and, and make some, some great changes, some great strides and be able to make an impact, there's going to be people that agree with you and people that disagree with you. And then people who could just, you know, they, they could care less either way. Um, 
But I, my goal is to really help you overcome the fear of putting yourself out there. Um, and the best way that you can do that is I, I think, and, and I do this all the time too, is, you know, when I'm hesitant of doing something or, you know, I, I'm fearful one, I'm, creating fear because I'm not taking action. I'm thinking about what would happen if I did do that. Uh, and a, an easy way to overcome that is to think about the worst possible situation, right? The absolute worst case scenario of if you did this, what would happen? What's like, I mean, the absolute worst thing that could happen. Um, and then think about that and, and just take some time to dissect it and really try to feel what it would feel like if that happened. And often the time, you know, oftentimes when I do that, I'm, you know, I am talking to myself. I'm like, all right, so if this happened, this would be the worst case scenario. Am I fine with this outcome? If this happened, would that be all right? And nine out of the 10 times it's like, well, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad. I'd be able to get over it, uh, whatever the case may be. And so it gives me room to be able to take some action on that. Um, and so think about the worst possible scenario, the worst thing that could happen and, and see if you would be okay with that. And if it would totally devastate you and your, your financial life, your emotional life would be in total ruins and you would just be on the brink of dying, then, you know, maybe you need to reevaluate, but that's typically not the case, right? Posting a video or posting a picture of yourself uh, is not going to be the end of the world. In fact, I think it could be the beginning of a very incredible journey for you, um, which leads me to my next point, And that is taking your eyes off yourself. Oftentimes fear that we create within our own minds is because we're focusing on ourself. What are other people going to think about me? What are other people going to say about me? What are other people going to uh, perceive about my business and my product and my thoughts and my opinions. And I think it's a dangerous place to be because that's not, you know, why you got into business in the first place. That's not what we're here on earth to do is to be self-centered and focused only on us. Um, but I would just encourage you to change your perspective, change the way that you view things and put yourself out there, uh, not, not for yourself, but for your clients and the people that you can serve and the people that you can help because there are people that need you. There are people that are waiting to hear your message. They're waiting to hear your story and nobody's going to be able to connect with them in a way that you can, in, in the way that you're going to show up and stand in your power and be authentic and true to yourself. That's what's going to connect with them. That's what's going to resonate with them. And they're going to, you know, they're going to be on board to support you and, and work with you. Um, and so when you start to be, more focused on service and helping and adding value to other people, um, then the fear goes away and it becomes fun and it's engaging and you're looking forward to it because you know that you're making a difference. You know that you're helping people. Um, and it really just takes a couple of comments, right? If you post something and somebody sends you a DM or a message or a comment and they say, oh my gosh, this was amazing. Thank you. This is exactly what I needed today. Um, you know, those are the good things that you're going to get, right? There's, those are the things that are going to make you want to consistently show up time and time again. And so it's important to take your eyes off yourself, focus on your client, focus on the people that you are looking to serve. And it puts you in a position where you're not focused on fear because you're not focused on yourself. And so the easiest way to eliminate fear is work, think about the worst case scenario and then uh, the the absolute worst thing that can happen, right? Worst case scenario, and then take your eyes off yourself. And if you do those two things, I think you're going to start moving forward um, in the right direction for sure. So, <clears throat> excuse me. the uh, The second thing that I want to talk about is really once you overcome that fear, how do you move to a place where you are dominating social media? Um, <clears throat> how do you move to a place where you can consistently show up time and time again and just create that omnipresence, right? And, and domination comes from a place of having confidence in showing up consistently. And so I, when I talk about dominate, I'm not talking about like becoming the next, you know, multi 
millionaire in social media influencer. I'm not talking about becoming the next Joe Rogan. I'm talking about dominating your market, your space, your industry, and being a thought leader, being an expert in what you do best and showing up as your authentic self. And um, a couple of things that I want to talk to you about is just some st uh, some statistics with uh, TikTok. So TikTok, why I want to talk about this is because it's uh, it's very important with the social media as a whole. Uh, TikTok has changed the game with how people show up, um, and it's completely flipped all of these other platforms on their head and they're, you know, Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn, they're all trying to integrate these things that are in line with what TikTok's doing. And I mean, they've completely had to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to integrate some of the things that has made TikTok so popular. Um, but some crazy statistics. So last year, 2021, TikTok had more traffic than Google. Last year, TikTok had more video viewers than YouTube. I mean, when we think about Google, when we think about YouTube, I mean, those are like, those are big companies, right? They've been dominating the space for a long time. And then in comes TikTok, this new social media platform, and it's outperforming both of them. Um, and so it's just crazy. And it's, it's evolved so quickly. And one of the misconceptions is people was like, oh, I'm, I'm too old for TikTok or TikTok's for the kids, TikTok's for dancing. Um, well, I don't think that Google is that way. I don't think that YouTube is that way. But if you sleep on it too long, you're going to miss your opportunity to be able to, to capitalize on that space. And, and the way that TikTok has revolutionized social media platforms is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It, it has proven that you can show up as yourself you know, in your, in your house, in your pajamas, you know, being you and you don't have to be polished. You don't, you don't have to have stuff that's overproduced. You don't have to have stuff that looks perfect. And so that's what these other social media platforms are trying to do is integrate that aspect of where, you know, you don't have to be this, you can just be raw. You could be real. You could be yourself. And that's what people are attracted to. And that's, what's really, you know, flipped them upside down in regards to how people are showing up. Um, and, you know, with the other platforms, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, they all speak to different audiences, right? There, There's different demographics for each one, but it's starting to become a space where they're all pretty much the same. And, you know, there's different formats. And I think that you need to speak the language of that format um, or that platform but at the same time, you can repurpose and utilize the same social media content for all platforms so you can be everywhere uh, all the time, right? And that comes from having content and being in a place of having confidence, knowing that you have stuff to distribute to all of these places and reach your target audience. Um, and in order to do that, you have to have massive action, right? An incredible amount of content at a massive uh a massive volume to be able to reach people. Uh, and how do you do that? Well, I firmly believe that having a podcast is by far the easiest way to create content because you're documenting, right? Like this right here, I'm recording, I'm documenting. Um, I am not trying to create the content. It just is being done already. And so I can utilize this for my social media platforms. And so it's important that you think about how you're going to be showing up um, versus, you know, trying to create. It's just to, if you get in the space of constantly trying to create and, you know, think of new ideas of how you can show up each and every day, it's going to become exhausting and you're not going to be able to stay consistent with it. Um, and there's a huge piece knowing that you have all of this stuff that you could utilize, right? So I want to give you an example. So let's say that you have a a podcast, right? You at least release one episode per week. Uh, average podcast time is, let's say you're doing 20 minutes. Okay. Um, if you had an episode that came out every week, that was on average 20 minutes, you would have 80 minutes of video and audio content for the month. Okay. Now let's say that you 
were to take that and chop it up into a bunch of shorter videos that would be about 20 seconds long, right? So that's 24 pieces of content that you could utilize per month. Now that's just on one platform. What's what gets crazy is when you start duplicating that. So let's say that you were to take those 24 pieces and you were to post them on five different platforms. So let's say LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and you know, YouTube shorts, something like that, right? So you have 24 pieces of content, five social media platforms. Um, you know, you're talking about 120 plus pieces of content a month on five different platforms for doing a one 20 minute podcast episode per week. You see how where where things start to compound. And if you're doing that consistently, um, you're able to create all that content from just doing one thing. And so it's, it starts to be truly incredible. Um, and you know, for my podcast, I'm doing one episode every day, Monday through Friday, um, which is a lot. I don't, you know, I wouldn't recommend it for somebody that's just starting out. Um, I think once a week is totally fine, but this is just, this is crazy. So as of today, I have over 61 recorded podcast episodes. I started on January 3rd of this year. Uh, and the average podcast is about 12 minutes long. And so as of right now, I have roughly 732 minutes of video and audio content. So which is over, I mean, that's over 12 hours. So if I were to break that into smaller videos that are about 20 seconds long, I have over 3,660 pieces of content for one platform. Now, if I were to multiply that across five, um, it would give me about 18,300 small, short clips of audio and video content. Almost 19,000 pieces of content. And it's March. So do you see the power of duplication here? And so it really starts to compound where, you know, if you, I mean, even if you were just to have 120 pieces of content every month, would you feel confidence in that? Would you have confidence knowing that you can be on these platforms that you can show up as your authentic self and get your message out there? Um, I would think yes. And I think that if you're consistently doing that, you're, you're putting yourself in a position of adding value and you don't have that fear of, hmm, I wonder what people are going to think because you're just so busy creating and documenting that the right people are going to be attracted to the stuff that you're putting out. And the people that are not, you just delete the comments and block them and move on with your day, right? I mean, there's no, you have control over it. And so you can be in a position where you're adding value and that's what people are after. So I just am, I'm so big on this because there's a huge opportunity right now, especially on TikTok, where it can flow into these other platforms um, where you can really capitalize on the viewership. I think TikTok and LinkedIn right now, uh, their organic reach is truly incredible, but you have to be on there and you have to be on there consistently. Um, and I think podcasting is the best way to do that because you're killing five birds with one stone and you're not having to constantly try to create uh and come up with ideas, right? And you're doing something that's authentic. It's you, it's your face, it's your voice, it's your mannerisms. And that's what people want to see. So the, the power of compounding truly takes place and you start to see this massive, massive momentum. Um, and it's, it's incredible. And so I would encourage you to think about that. Um, if you're in a position where you need help and you're thinking about podcasting and integrating it into your business as a marketing source, um, I would be happy to chat with you. Um, what I'll do is uh, I will uh, let you know where you can go. So if you go to uh, www.psmworkshop.com backslash apply, um, that'll take you straight to my booking calendar. You can book a call um, and we'll jump on the phone and talk about your business, talk about your goals and see if it would be a good fit um, for us to help you. And if it's not, I am absolutely 100% uh, transparent and I will be the first to tell you that, hey, I don't think we're a good fit and I'll be happy to guide you in the right direction. But if you're like, yes, that is me. I know I need to be on social media um, and I understand the power of it. And I know that a podcast can really uh, alleviate all of that extra work. And, um, and we could be in a position where we could work together. I'll let you know that as well. 
uh, and it's a done for you service, right? So you only have to do the recording part and we do all of the other stuff. And so you can be everywhere all the time at any given moment. And you're only doing about 20 minutes worth of work a week. It's, uh, it's truly incredible. So, um, again, if you want to make that happen, if you want to jump on the phone, talk about your business, regardless, I think it'll be an incredible use of your time. It'll be valuable and you'll have direction and insight, even if we don't work together, uh, to be able to move you forward and make 2022 your best year ever. So visit www.psmworkshop.com backslash apply, uh, book a call. And uh, we look forward to chatting with you. Uh, and again, uh, I'll be live Thursday again, just getting the, uh, getting the hang of this, this live thing. Um, I know that there's going to be some great conversation that comes from this. Uh, and there's just going to be some really cool stuff that I think is going to be very valuable for you to be able to utilize, to grow your business. Cause that's what we're here for, right? Is to, to grow our businesses and, um, and make some things happen. So I also want to let you guys know that if you want to see some more things that are going on, um, you can visit my social platforms. I'm on uh, Instagram, YouTube. So my full length YouTube videos uh, of my podcast are getting released there. And then I'm also on TikTok. So I would say TikTok, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, YouTube. I mean, I'm pretty much active on all of them. So if you want to see what's going on, see some different content um, and see what I'm doing with my podcast, I would highly encourage you to check out those platforms and uh, let's keep in touch. And I look forward to uh, chatting with you on Thursday. We've got some good stuff coming on. So tune in for that and we'll catch you guys later.